Hello everyone, my name is Gordon Sherwin. Today I'm going to be reviewing the book, the graphic novel, I Killed Giant by Joe Kelly, written by Joe Kelly. I start off by saying that Joe Kelly was originally, um, he worked with Marvel and DC. And uh, he did works like Superman uh, and Marvel. He did Spider-Man, Deadpool. Um, and this is one of his um, indie builds that he worked with Ken Nemoro. There's not much info about Ken Nemoro other than he did another uh, graphic novel by himself. He wrote and uh, illustrated, designed it. Um, I think it was called Kenshin, if I'm not mistaken. You can get it on Amazon. It's I'm going to check it out after... Um, after I'm done with this. Well, I Killed Giants is um, published by Image Comics, uh, which I I enjoy the Image Comic books um, tremendously. So I found it there, and I, I got interested just by just by the cover, to be honest. I mean, I, I enjoy the art style like anyone else. Um, so pretty much um, an appealing cover will pretty much grab me. In almost immediately. Well, um, this is the soft cover for I Kill Giants, and it's not as thick as the hard cover. The hard cover actually has around 300 pages. Um, this one's only um, 184 plus the behind-the-scenes stuff. Uh, I think this is the um, the complete edition. Uh, it's either the limited or the exclusive edition, but either way, it, it's got some extra material in here you can read. Um, I, I enjoy the little back stuff, uh, pardon the ripped cover, um, but, um, exclusive stuff, just like extra, extra images, um, more about the author, uh, I enjoy this one more than the other one since I really do want to get in the comic industry. Um, originally I think it was supposed to be a seven issue series um but i do believe that they just i i, I couldn't find like the the tiny issues uh the the comic issues of i kill giants but i can only find the entire complete graphic novel so i i would call this a graphic novel it, it feels like a whole story um if even if it wasn't issues it's down it's it's made um by ch it's made with chapters instead it doesn't say like issue the next issue when you go turn a page. It'll say something like if I can find one, um, it'll 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 usually have like it'll finish a page and go to a black page and on the next page it'll say uh, chapter four or chapter two. I look like an idiot. So the story starts out um, a, with a girl named Barbara. She's a fifth grader. Who everyone it was I think it was career day or something where it was like oh what do you want to do when you grow up and she was like well I kill giants and of course everyone in the room is doesn't believe anything she says Every, everyone makes fun of her for it and she she really doesn't care and um, she does whatever she wants the counselor calls her in and stuff saying oh yeah you re we really need to know what you want to do and she's like nope I kill giants and she just stays on with that path until um, she finally gets a friend and um, her friend named Sophie finally comes in and her life starts to change around while Sophie tries to dig deeper and tries to get to know Barbara more. So apparently as Sophia tries to dig deeper into uh, Barbara's life, realize that she's hiding a lot of things apparently. She's hiding a lot of stuff that the that Sophia thinks that this giant thing is actually just something she's escaping from. If she's escaping from reality and using giants as a crutch to help her move on and ignore the troubles she endures at home. So Sophia plays along with her with Barbara's little game and she comes to find out that Barbara doesn't have any friends. Um, she's pretty much her older sister is taking care of her. Um, so Barbara's pretty like enclosed in her own little world, um, just to just to find some sanctuary in her life. But 
Later, um, after Barber is getting picked on again, the giant thing ended up kind of being a big deal in real. And uh, there's some really neat action scenes in here. Um, I, I know that there's a lot of like two page spreads. There's a lot of splash pages in here. Uh, well, here's one of my favorite two page spreads with little insert panels here and there. Um, but um, it's it's really really in depth with these two page spreads and uh, splash pages, which which makes it really cool to just watch. Um, they do it nicely too. Um, usually you don't get them until like. Um, until you flip the page over, but I think it was meant for the hard co uh, cover copy because there are some scenes in here where you do get that splash page on like the right side of the book, and you're like, sometimes your eyes wander off, and it's like, uh, and then you get you get lost. But it's nothing too big a deal. I can show you an example in a bit. Here's a scene that uh, follows the tie correctly, where. We see Barbara like shocked because she said something. Uh, the counselor said something that surprised her, and on the next page, um, she pretty much just slaps the school counselor in the face for. Uh, I guess she said something she wasn't supposed to. Uh, here's a bad example. Um, you see the door like doing those that moment by moment scene where it's slowly creaking open, and then she finds out that there's, there's like this demonic entity just in that room, and it, it kind of catches your attention, but it's not too bad. The darkness in that page, like, kind of, like, wears it out, where I'm, like, more attracted to the, the white, the light side of the page. So it, it kind of cancels each other out in that point of view, but I guess in, like, the hardcover, it was supposed to be, like, a page turner. Um, speaking of moment by moment, uh, the story does have a bunch of perspective changes, um, like Scott McCloud states in the book. Um, there are a lot of action to action pa uh, panel transitions, um, since it's such a action heavy book where Barbara's like hitting up a giant or maybe she's slapping into the school counselor again um, But it's mostly action by action. There are some scene to scenes There are plenty of as the door swinging up. There was the moment by moment um, I'm pretty sure there's not much um, Non-sequential is that sequitter There's eh. It's just, How do you say it? You know what I'm talking about. There are some aspects to aspects of, like, maybe, like, in the action scenes. But other than that, it follows a pretty good action-to-action -action transition setup. So the protagonist, Barbara, follows a unique arc where, at first, she's just a fifth grader who doesn't really care. She's enjoying her life. She's um, not involving herself in any troubles as she's trying to avoid anything as possible she's she's kind of she's kind of what can I say can I say bitchy I don't know but later after she meets Sophia she, she kind of turns around a bit she opens up a lot and she there are scenes where it, it emotionally hits you as the reader like wow she's hiding so much for just for a little girl her age and her at the end she she's more open she's pretty much finds a uh, console and her new friends even the the guidance counselor she smacked the hell out of but a lot a lot of things did change her in the end and i i feel that the, the story has a really unique and complete um would i rec recommend i kill giants um absolutely um i think it's a great start for people who are just getting into comics I've been reading comics and manga for about two, maybe three and a half years. Um, like, actually get into it. Like, I've, I've been reading them when I was younger, but, like, actually, like, dive in and just, like, put, like, a lot of my time into it. Um, this one's easy on the eyes, where in, like, superheroes um, comics, you'll see, like, blam out, and, like, there's a lot of stuff going on, and you can't really, you can't really keep an eye on the read. This one... This one doesn't really focus on the art as much. Um, 
and it focuses a lot more on the story. So it's an it's and it's not that long either. It's a beginning to end story. Um, yeah, I'd recommend this to both friends, family, uh, my fellow students who are watching this. Uh, it's a great read. I can read um, can read it in one day. Um, it's not that expensive. It's a Joe Kelly, so if you do like Deadpool, Spider-Man, Superman, like he did, he did everything. Um, it's one of his indie works. Get to know his indie works. They're actually pretty nice. Uh, sorry I didn't really showcase the book that much. I'm not really um, the type of guy who, if you're if you're watching this and you never read it before, I, I don't like to spoil things that much. So I'm sorry if um, you actually wanted to see a little more of the book. Um, if you do, I could probably uh, just probably search it up, find it easily. But um, what I think is cool about this is that it shows a lot more of the art in this one, the one I have, and a lot more about um, the characters, uh, the artist, the writer, Joe Kelly himself. Um, and they, there was even a little comic in the back where how him and Ken work together. And I thought that was awesome how, like, it's, it's really funny, to be honest. And it's just, like, him and Ken working together. Like, it's kind of like the bloopers of I Kill Giants, to be honest. And I give that, I'm giving that a look uh, over as well. Uh, I, never, I never actually cared about it before until now. Uh, but I'm going to start reading the, <laughs> the back of the stuff more if there's anything like this in the back. Um, so I thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you give this a, a good read. See you all.